tell you what, uh, let me say something about runs, and I'm going to try to make this quick. Your body position has to be absolutely perfect for runs not to be a problem. You sit up straight, make sure you're, most people sit too high in comparison to the keyboard. You need to just kind of allow your arm to fall and be very loose. And there are two ways to practice runs. You can do it the slow motion way, which is what this is. So slow motion, and then you can do the impulse way to practice runs. And then add a note. So two ways to practice runs, very slow and even, be able to, your hand has to be very loose, not tight here. If you're too far away and trying to do it, there's no way uh, because you're tied up through your shoulder and your arm. So this is kind of the canary in the coal mine. If you practice runs and you're finding your arms getting fatigued, that's a sign of a form problem. So just FYI. So anyway. So, back to the F minor 7, and another run. Again, you're sitting up, this is very loose, your shoulder's down. Again. So. First run, I don't smother it in the pedal, but I do use the pedal. Then. This one's drier, just to give it some variety. Okay, dramatic climax. Instead of going to that D7 minus 9 plus 5, we're going to an A minor 7 flat 5. That is an E flat 7, even though you have that as the melody, it's passing. It's the D7, A flat 7, plus 11. Back to that B triad with the F sharp diminished, F minor 7, that is the E7, it's a flat 5, I'm just not playing it. So I hope that was slow enough uh, to break it down. I'm going to try to add some annotations to explain it a little bit more. And uh, in the next section, I'm going to show, as opposed to showing what notes I'm playing to improvise, I'm going to show you a system where with just a few scales, you can improvise. And if you use these scales, basically you can't play a wrong note. So you could just hit random notes, and you're not going to be in disagreement with the chords underneath. So that's part two. And um, that's it for part one. Okay, this is part two. And um, I showed how to play the melody the first time. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to improvise on this piece. Uh, before I do, um, a couple of concepts. One is, in this style song, one thing you can do is you can use just the seven notes of the scale, and that's all that, to learn this way, that's all I'd like for you to use is just the seven notes, like this is a B-flat major scale that's going to be played. There's an um, F major scale that's played. I'm trying, I'm thinking this through my head. There's a, there's a C major scale. And I think there's an E-flat major scale. 
you just know those scales, and I'll put them up there, if you just play any note in the scale with what you have in the left hand, uh, it will sound correct, believe it or not. So this is kind of an uh, easy introduction to seven note modes and um, how to use them. So. first chord is a B flat major 7 and all you're going to use is the B flat major scale and I'll tell you when to change scales now this is the E flat major scale here every note goes and you've got an F minor 7 with a 9 in there When I go down here, I avoid the fourth in this one because if you use the E flat scale, I'm not wild about the A flat in there. Or if you use the D major scale, which actually makes it an E flat Lydian, I'm not wild about that. So in this chord, I just skip the fourth, but that's the only exception. Back to the B, B flat major scale, hear that? That's an F7. Um, I just used some chordal voicing, so let me say something about that. Um, hold on. That's your F minor 7 chord. That's your E flat major 7 chord. See where this is a chordal here. You always need to know what chord that chordal voicing represents so that you can inform this chord with your playing here. Like I know this is a C minor 7 with a um, 11th in it. So I'm going to really play it like it's a C minor 7 here. This I know is an F7. It's got the 7, the 2, and the 6 in it, which is a 13. It's still your uh, B-flat major chord. I know this is a B-flat chord, but it's got the 2, the 6, I mean the, the 3, the 2, and the 6. So let me just show you randomly. 